This video is about the smoke curtain. What is it? What's it for? And why should you be using one? The answer to the first question is really straightforward. A smoke curtain is essentially a door-shaped fire blanket with an expanding ratchet that allows it to be clamped in place in a doorway. It'll fit any door between 70 centimeters and 115 centimeters wide. It can be fitted in the doorway in about 15 seconds. The second question, what's it for, is simple as well. It allows us to control a flow path. And what that means is we can almost entirely stop the hot smoke and gases leaving a compartment and we can enormously reduce the amount of air that's getting into the fire inside that compartment. Why should you be using one? I'm going to illustrate that with this scenario here. What we've had is a fire in, a, in an armchair, in a compartment, in a multi-storey, multi-occupant building. The door's been closed. Fire service arrive, they open the stairwell door, they put a curtain in place, and then now they've made entry into the fire compartment for firefighting. What I'm going to talk about is what purpose that curtain is serving, and look at these four points, and what would happen if the curtain wasn't there. So we start with public safety. Obviously, if we open the door and don't put the curtain in place, we're going to fill that corridor up with smoke, potentially the stairwell as well. That means that anybody who lives in this corridor now is trapped in their flat, and if we've got smoke in the stairwell, possibly the whole building are trapped in place. Keeping these communal areas, the stairwell, the corridors, free from smoke is an absolute priority. In terms of firefighter safety, we've got a, an underventilated fire in this compartment. The door's been closed while it's been burning. If we arrive and open that door, then we may have as little as 5 or 6% oxygen in that compartment. In the corridor and the stairwell, we've got 21% oxygen a huge supply of oxygen which will rush in and feed that fire, potentially causing backdraft, flashover, some other form of rapid fire progress. If there's an open door or a window in the stairwell or the corridor, we're potentially giving that fire an unlimited supply of oxygen, which is going to allow it to grow and create a greater hazard for us. And again, that creates a greater hazard for the, the public as well. In terms of firefighting effectiveness, again, if we allow smoke to get into this corridor and the stairwell, it makes operations much more difficult for us as firefighters. From things as simple as not being able to read the, the flat numbers and the floor numbers uh, to more significant issues such as having to move the bridgehead, keeping these communal areas clear of smoke, again, should be an absolute priority. In Germany, insurance companies buy the curtains and donate them to the German fire service. And they do that because the curtain costs 400 euros can be used multiple times and on average one company estimated that every time the curtain is used in an actual fire it saves 10,000 euros in contents damage and uh, buildings damage. If this curtain wasn't in place the smoke goes out into the corridor, the corridor may have to be redecorated. If someone's flat door is open that may be damaged by smoke, the stairwell the same. Even if this is a residential property maybe the homeowners closed the living room door before they left uh, after the fire. If we then open that living room door smoke goes out into the corridor, upstairs, into the bedrooms. The person may not be able to move back into the property until it's all cleaned. The damage has been increased enormously. We want to try and contain that fire to the smallest area possible. By opening the door and not fitting a curtain, we let more oxygen into the fire, as we said. That makes a bigger fire, which causes more damage. It also needs more water to extinguish it, which causes more water damage. We all want to be professional, and this is a tool that we can use which can take the professionalism to the next level. I'm just going to illustrate some of those points with a couple of videos. First one's a high-rise fire from New York where a curtain wasn't used. And you can see that the door goes in and immediately smoke is filling that corridor. The neighbour who's filming it on his mobile phone rushes back into his flat, tapes up his door. A second scenario, this is Austria where a curtain was used. And you can see that as soon as the door goes in, the curtain's put in place. It's a significant fire. And you can see that there's a lot of smoke in that flat. And yet the stairwell is kept completely clean and clear. As I said, it makes it safer for the firefighters, safer for other people who live in that building, and it's better from a damage limitation point of view. That's it for this video. We're going to make another couple of videos about the smoke curtain. I look forward to seeing you then. Thanks for watching.